Alright, so as you can see from the title of this video, um, we're going to make a Discord bot and specifically a smart bot. So what I mean when I say a smart bot is essentially a bot that gives us information about something or someone when we ask it to. Uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean when we actually build it, but let's just get started. So I made this text document uh, just to split up the procedure into three sections. So let's just start with the first one is just creating the bot. So what you want to do is you want to log into Discord and specifically the portal for developers. So let's just double click this link here. It'll take you to the uh, Discord app window. And under developers, uh, there's a section where it says developer portal and you want to click on that. So you, as you can see, I'm logged in here. Uh, what you want to click is new application and there's a name section. So this name section is what your bot uh, name going to be. So I'm just going to call this smart bot and press enter and then you want to head to the side panel here on the side you want to click on bot and then add bot uh, yes I want to do it and there your bot is officially created so uh, we can just start uh, coding now I guess or, or no second step is actually installing the tools that we need so first if you don't have Python I suggest you go on the Python official website and just install the latest version. This is the 3.82. Uh, you can scroll down to the end of the window and you can see here, uh, you can choose your platform, your OS. If you're on Windows, I suggest installing the executable installer and then you can just follow the steps from there. It's fairly easy. So minimize that. And the second thing we need to do is install the discord.py library. And this is the library that's going to help us like create our bot or commands or events and etc. So what you want to do is you want to open a command prompt and you want to just run pip install discord that's not how you spell discord discord.py that's not how you spell pi there and if it's already there it's going to say requirements already installed uh, satisfied just like how you see it here but if you don't have it it's going to actually install uh, so we can close that and so yeah so that's that's it for this section uh, now we can make a folder that our bot's going to be in. So we can create a new folder, we can just call it bot. And then we're going to make a text file where our code is going to be. So text document, we'll just call this bot, why not? And then what you want to do is you want to save this as a Python file. So how to do that is just save as, save bot, change the extension to .py save if you minimize this you can see here there's a python file created you can get rid of this text file it's no longer needed and we can start coding so first thing we want to do is you remember the discord library that we installed we're going to import that so discord.py import and then from this library or the extension let's say uh, we want to import commands that's what's going to help us create our commands for our bot so um if you're familiar with discord or bots you know that each bot has a prefix so it's the way to communicate to the bot so like uh like a slash or a uh, backslash dot dash whatever it is so we're gonna have to create a prefix for our bot so first things first let's do that uh let's create a variable call it bot equals commands dot dot capital b command prefix equals and in this quotation we're gonna have our prefix so let's just put our prefix for this bot as a plus sign why not okay so once that's done that's our prefix set so uh just to test this out uh let's just run the bot so this is this is what's going to run the bot here so we say bot.run and this run is going to take a parameter inside and this parameter is what's very important actually it's um it's a token it's your bot token and what a token is is uh it's basically an id for your bot to identify your bot so it's very so we can get this token actually from our browser here so when you made your bot you can see here there's token and you can copy it or regenerate a new one. We're just going to copy it. Um, it's very important to keep this uh, token secret or not show it to people because you don't want people to control your bot. I'm just going to show it for you here because, like, I, I, 
I don't need this bot. So yeah. So once once this is done, is this right? Should it have a dash eight? Okay, let's just say it's right. So um so once you put in your token, uh we're gonna create an event. We're gonna create an event to know when our bot is running, when everything is working fine. It's gonna uh so this event, um yeah, so what should we put in this event? So let's just make the event first. So to make the event, we're gonna do this function decorator. So bot dot event, and we're gonna create an uh, asynchronous function. So what an asynchronous function is, it's uh, it's basically uh, how do I say this? So it allows for parallelism or multi-processing. So it's uh, it allows basically like just in the name like multiple processes at the same time. You don't really need to know what an asynchronous function is. Just use it for the sake of this video. So, um, so our function is going to be called on ready, and it doesn't actually have anything inside. And what do we want to do when the bot is ready? Uh, we want to print a message into our console, letting us know that the bot is ready. So let's just do print. Uh, let's just say we ready. Why not? And there. So that's basically all we need to bring our bot to life. So before we test this, uh, we should probably add this bot to our server. So if we go back to the browser here, and you can go to the authorization tab on the side. And under scopes, you want to click on bot. And then you scroll down to bot permissions, and you can choose the permissions for your bot. I just usually pick admin. And then once that's done, uh, it'll generate this link here. You want to copy this link, new tab, paste. And I'll take you to this window where you can add the bot to whatever server you own. So I'm just gonna, I made a test server here. We're gonna add it to that. We press continue and authorize. I'm not a robot. What is a bus? Where's a bus? That's a bus. That's a bus. I think that's a bus. No, that's not a bus, is it? Why not? Verify. As, as you can see here, I had a, no, a notification telling me that my uh, smart bot has appeared. So you can close that and we can, we're, we're ready to run this. So let's just save this real quick. And to run this, you go to the folder where your bot is. You want to open a command prompt in the path and run Python, the name of your file and run. And no module name, disk. oh, sorry. Do I have a pie here? Yeah, it's just Discord. There's no pie. Sorry about that. Save. Run again. Nice. Name is not defined. So our token is not defined. Oh, sorry. It's not in quotations. My bad. So let's just do that. Save and run again. Hopefully this time it should print out we ready. And our bot should be online. Yeah. So as you can see here, it printed we ready. And then if you go on Discord, you can see here our smart bot is online. Cool. So we can actually now start uh, to adding commands to our bot. So let's just stop this process real quick. Control C and go back to editing the bot or the code, sorry. And we want to make a command. So to make a command is you want to do a function decorator, so bot.command, and then we're going to make an async function. And the name of the function is going to be the command. So whatever name you give this function, when, whenever you call that command in Discord, this anything under this function will run. So, oh yeah, before we do that, actually, yeah, let's just test it out. Let's just make a command, uh, we'll call it scream why not and then in scream we want to pass in a context okay so just any name really so we'll just call it context and then so what do we want to do when scream is called so we can just print something just to test it out so to do that we say await await goes in hand with the asynchronous function and we want to say context dot send what do we want to send we'll just send a scream why not close the bracket save this 
open the command prompt again and we'll run that. Should say are we ready soon? Yep. And then if we go in Discord, hopefully this works. We'll say our prefix, which is plus sign, and then scream. Please. Yes. So as you can see, our robot screams when we tell it to. So we know that works. Okay, cool. So now we can actually start making this robot smart. Um, and to do that, actually, uh, we can go back to the setup document here. To do that, we're going to use this library called wikipedia.py. So initially when I had this idea, I was like, I'm going to web scrape Wikipedia for the information I need for that something or someone that I'm looking for. And it's going to print me the first paragraph of the Wikipedia page of that someone or something. But then um, I did some research and I found this guy that made this Wikipedia library and it essentially makes web scraping from Wikipedia very, very easy. So shout out to this guy, Smith, whatever your name is. So if you scroll here to the readme file, you see there's some examples and this is how you install the uh, library. So we're just going to go ahead, copy that, open the command prompt, install it. Again, I already have this, so it's going to say requirement already satisfied. We can close that and head back to our code and start using it. So before we use it, let's just make another function or a command, sorry. So dot command and wait. And then async define and what should we name this command? Uh that's the command that's 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 basically gonna ask the bot for something. So we'll just call it what it is. Why not? And then again, we're going to pass in context. But this time, after we say what it is, we want to ask it something like the someone or the something that we're looking for, right? So we're just going to say uh, something. Okay. And close that. Now, now here where we start using the Wikipedia library. So to do that, we're going to import the Wikipedia library. So we go import Wikipedia and then now we can head back to the browser and look at the readme file for some examples. So as you can see here, you can set the language, you can ask for a summary, you can search, get a title. So for this example, we're just going to get a summary. So you can see here he's printing Wikipedia. You can use it as Wikipedia dot summary and then the topic that you want a summary of, and then it will print it for you. Uh, in this example, he actually specifies the sentences. So you can say one sentences, two, three, whatever you need from the Wikipedia page. So uh, to make this easier, we can just go ahead and copy that and head back to our what is function here. And we want to again await context.send. And then what do we want to send? We want to send our summary for that something. So just paste what we took from the browser. And then in Wikipedia, we can change that to our something that we're looking for. And let's just specify the sentences too. Why not? We can specify two. Okay, two sentences. So let's just hope this works. Let's just save this. And once we save that, we can head back to our console, run this. Nice. What do we have here? Bot.run invalid syntax. For what? Oh, sorry. We're missing another bracket. Okay, so uh, let's just do that again. Uh, yeah, we didn't save. So save that, go back here, it should hopefully work, and yeah, we ready. So you can go to our Discord, bring this up, and let's ask it something, let's hope this works. So we say our prefix plus sign, what is, and just give me a random topic, soccer, why not, and hopefully. Yes, there you go. So it gives you some information about what soccer is. And this is actually straight from the Wikipedia page. It's just two sentences from 
the Wikipedia page for soccer. So we can actually test this again. We can say what is, I don't know, Chris Paul. Why not? CP3. Chris Paul. There you go. Christopher Emmanuel Paul, American professional basketball player. Try this again. What is, uh, oh, sorry, there's no space. What is Canada? Canada is a country. Yeah, there you go. So there's your smart bot. It's working so far. You can actually add stuff as you like. If you go and read the Wikipedia library, you can maybe add links. You can allow the user to change languages and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so I'll leave this link in the description. I'll also leave the link to, uh, where's it set up? Yeah, there it is. I'll leave the link to the, um, to, to the discord library. This is very important to read actually. If you want to know how to use the discord library, all the commands and all the syntax, you'll find it here. Very useful. You should check that out. And yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video and you can make your own smart bot now. And that's about it. I've never really done an outro, so I'm just going to end the video. <laughs>